happy yoga the everyone i wish you have a great year ahead so today we will be discussing the problem time needed to buy tickets in this problem we are going to discuss two approaches the first one is the brute force one and the second one is the optimal solution so it will be like a one pass solution so we will be discussing everything visually so please watch the video till the end for better understanding so i think after seeing the constraints most of you we are able to solve the brute force one and if you haven't tried the optimal solution so please go and give it a try because you will try to visualize the things and you will improve your problem solving skills now let's see the problem there are n people in a line queuing to buy tickets where the zeroth person is at the front of the line and n minus 1 is at back of the line you are given a zero indexed integer array tickets he is giving some tickets of length n where the number of tickets that i person would like to buy is tickets of i he is giving some tickets array and tickets array he will be giving some persons and each person will buy some tickets like a b c d he can buy a number of tickets b number of tickets each person takes exactly 1 second to buy a ticket to buy this ticket he will take 1 second a person can only buy one ticket at a time so he can buy one ticket so suppose he want to buy three tickets he will buy one ticket so his tickets he will buy one ticket and he will go back he is saying that buy one ticket at a time and has to go back to the end of the line instantly he need to go back then we will get the chance to another person in order to buy more tickets if a person does not have any tickets left to buy so suppose two tickets then he came his turn his turn got again and now he his tickets will be one then his tickets will be zero when his number of tickets are zero he can leave the queue we need to return the time taken for a person at position k to finish buying the tickets he will give the some position k so we need to find out the time how much time it will take to buy these tickets for this person now let's understand with few examples now you can see here the constants are very small so brute brute for solutions will get accepted but but interviewer will definitely say you to optimize the things first we are going to discuss the brute force approach suppose we are going to have 2 3 2 and k is equals to 2 in the first pass everyone will buy one ticket so my new array will be 1 to 1 and in the second pass it will be like 0 1 and 0 and the person at position to successfully bought two tickets and it took 3 plus 3 6 seconds here it took 3 seconds here it took 3 seconds now let's see our example suppose we have this array we have total fight um five people and every person wants some three four three tickets four tickets six tickets now it initially initially every person will buy one ticket every person will buy one ticket so it will be 2 3 5 4 1 and 6 my total time will be 6 right my total time will be 6 now in the second iteration in the second iteration 2 will become 1 3 will become 2 5 4 4 3 1 0 6 5 my one has become zero one has become zero but at this iteration it is considered right all my all my values are considered so time will be six now in the third iteration my one will become zero and everything will get subtracted but we are not going to touch this zero so we are not including this so except that 1 2 3 4 5 so my time will be five now in this iteration we are having the two zeros so we will be excluding these two zeros we will be excluding these two zeros and we are decrementing every other element so here if you exclude these two zeros my total time will be 4 now in the third in the last iteration in the last iteration we are going to find the index k is equals to 3 k is equals to 3 that means now 0 0 my 2 will become 1 my 1 will become 0 this has become 0 here and i don't want to care about uh, right side element so i want to break it out i don't want to care like whether you are buying the tickets or not because if i am ending here so i will end here right so my person got the tickets so towards the left side how many are greater than zeros only one right this and this one we need to consider that as well so time will be 2 so if you add all this my time will be 23 so i think you have got it what exactly the brute force solution so we will iterate we will iterate everything every step one by one and if my time is greater than zero we will add it to the answer if my time my position k my time has become zero we will finally return the answer so try to implement by yourself so i am hoping that you have implemented now let's see the coding part <coughs> it's simple we are going with while true while true and we are going to iterate and you need to ask the interviewer whether i can modify my vector or not if he is saying you are not uh, you are not 
uh, you are not you don't have permission to modify my vector then you sh you should copy these values into some other vector and you can perform operations on that vector now while true in t is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus if my v of i is greater than 0 what we have done v of i minus 1 so every time every time my great uh, my value is greater than 0 if my value is greater than 0 we are adding into the answer but if we are getting 0 we are not adding so that's why we are keeping only one condition v of i greater than 0 we are subtracting it and we are incrementing the timer if if my i is equals to k i have reached that position when my v of i is equals to 0 so i have bought all my tickets and i reached that position finally i will return t or else return 0 this will never execute so return t will be executed so if you see here here every time if my values are all big all are 5 5 5 5 5 every time you need to be iterated every time you need to subtract 4 4 4 3 3 3 so it will be like uh, these are n operations and if i have having n elements like this these are total n and these are having my m or n so my total number of time complexity will be n into m and here we are not using any extra space so it will be order of one so now interviewer will say okay Ayush, try to optimize it so instead of n into m can you optimize the solution now let's think how you can optimize this i am hoping that you have tried the optimization as well i am hoping try try by yourself if you are not able to get then you can watch the next part of the video or else go it go and give it a try for a couple of minutes now these are my inputs my k is equals to 3 so that means my k is equals to 3 means we are having we will we are in this position now when my i is less than k that consider this as i and this is my k my index is less than k index is less than k <coughs> i can include everything into my answer everything into my answer and and if it is 3 i can include if it is 4 i can include but if it is 6 i can't write if it is 6 maximum it will be converted to 5 maximum it will be converted it to 5 so what i can do here is i will take minimum of v of i comma v of k that means towards the left side towards the left side i want to add elements directly instead of going one by one one by one one by one i am saying that i need total of five operations here so these three operations will get completed this four will be completed in this position it will be completing only five so my answer will be minimum of v of i comma v of k when i is less than k now suppose we have reached i is equals to k my answer will be directly v of k now next scenario if my i is greater than k if my i is greater than k that means we are we are going towards the left side we are checking for the left right side element if in this in this position if my v of i is less than v of k if my v of i is less than v of k then my answer will be v of i because when we here phi 2 is less than phi so definitely this 2 will be my answer if it is 2 or else if it is 4 this my 4 will definitely comes to 0 because we need to perform total of 5 operations so that's why my answer will be v of i if my v of i is equals to v of k that means here v of phi and here v of phi so this phi will get 0 but this phi will be 1 right after every operations so if you perform 5 operations in every on every element this will come to 0 but this element still be remaining because after coming this to 0 we are breaking it out we are saying we don't care about all other elements so it will be v of i minus 1 if my v of i is greater than v of k then my answer will be v of k minus 1 same thing if it is greater if it is 7 so maximum i can go till 4 now let's see with examples now for better understanding these are my arrays and this is my pre a time is equals to 0 a time is equals to 3 we, we need minimum of 3 comma 5 3 comma 5 so my answer will be 3 my answer will be 3 now a tie is equals to 1 a tie is equals to minimum of 4 comma 5 my answer will be 4 a tie is equals to 2 minimum of 6 comma 5 maximum it can reach till 5 maximum it can reach till 5 so it, we are taking 5 a tie is equals to 3 definitely it will be my 5 a tie is equals to 4 a tie is equals to 4 it will be 2 it will be 2 a tie is equals to 5 it can reach maximum till 4 right maximum till 4 because after this gets 0 so this will be left with uh, like it will be left with 3 maximum 4 operations you can perform here that's why v of k minus 1 a tie is equals to 6 same we are doing the same so you can club it club it if uh, you can club these both scenarios if my i is less than or equals to k i can perform this operation i can perform 
and you can club it you can think about it how you can club it but i will explain you everything in the code clearly so try to code by yourself try to see these scenarios and try to code then you will improve your thinking you will try to visualize the things now if you are unable to code then you can see the video solution uh, coding solution sorry now we have n v dot size and value is v of k and if my i is less than k t is equals to t plus minimum of v of i comma v of value when i is less than k. if my i is equals to k t is equals to t plus value we can combine both of this we can combine both of this if my i is greater than k and v of i is less than my value so t is equals to t plus v of i and if my v of i is greater than or equals to value greater than or equals to value value minus one only you can go till so t is equals to t plus value minus one and finally we are returning t so this in this gets the time complexity it will be in order of n and we are not modifying it and the my space will be order of one so i think you understood it and if you learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe you can join my whatsapp community code with confidence I, uh, in that we are going to discuss the daily challenge problem lead code problems you can check it out i have given in that in the description and i have given my linkedin profile you can connect with me there if you have any doubts in this problem you can comment it down i will try to help you i will see you in the next video till then bye bye